Today I'm going to show you how to use, or how I use, uh, the EXS24 editor and within Logic. So uh, right now I have a simple E piano. I'm just going to uh, make my own sample and use that, and I'll show you how I do that. So I'll just play some chords out on the E piano. that and I will bounce that in place which uh, basically you can only do in Logic 9 uh, you know makes an audio file out of what you just played so now we can get rid of this region here and here's our audio file which I can then play and you can hear it now, the best part about Logic is that you can chop on the fly so I can chop this up right now So we have some audio files here. Now what I'm going to do is create an EXS24 instrument. Stereo. Hit this edit button up here. It'll open our uh, edited window. And I can take these files and drag them right in there. So now I have all of those files all four of the samples are playing uh, on every key, so they're all pitched. Now I need to fix that. Basically, I'm going to take each file and I'm going to start on C1. So I'm going to drag all the bottoms of those files up to C1. I'll take the tops as well and drag them to C1. So now all of those uh, sound files are on C1 all together. And they're all pitched as well, which let's change that. Let's unpitch them. So now they're the same pitch that I played them on C1. So now I'll just uh, realign them to correspond, you know, upwards. So now we have them on four keys. Now we just want to make sure the chops are clean. First one's all right. Second one is a little messy. Let's, uh, let's double click that second one. Opens in the audio editor. Here's that file. You can just chop it this way. That sounds better. Let's do the same with this. There's a click or a pop in the beginning of that. Let's clean that up. one's pretty clean. Let's, uh, there might be a little bit of a click there. Yeah, I see. There we go. So now we have our samples laid out. What we can do now is just change the pitch of that a little bit. Highlight all four. Change the course. Let's, uh, let's record that. gap in between uh, each of those so I want to change one thing in the uh, sampler it's cutting off after I stop pressing the sample right now so let's let's get it so it doesn't do that we'll put them all on one shot so now they'll all play out but they're overlapping as you can hear so what we need to do is uh, we actually need to create a group so we'll go to new group we'll take all these samples and drag them into that group then we can uh, change the settings for those groups or that group by going uh, 
to the group tab up here on the left and uh, we'll, we'll change the polyphony to one so only one of those samples can play at a time now as you hear when I play one sample it cuts off the other one that's playing so now let's try that again Now I quantize a hi hat usually to uh, in this in this case I'll quantize it to an eighth note. I'll put a little bit of swing on there, maybe about 54, 55 percent swing. This gives it a soulful feel. I'll, uh, what I'm doing here is bouncing this down. I'm bouncing it in place. That's something you can do in Logic. So I'll name this uh, Hats. And it'll bounce what I just played in that uh, instrument. In the This is actually in the ultra beat I'm doing the drums, uh, which I'll, I'll show you later. But uh, this is just bouncing it into an audio file. So there's the hat. Let's do the kick now. to uh, 16th notes. I'll put it on about a 66% swing. 65-66. Yeah, sounds pretty good. Bounce it. And then you can go on and add other instruments from there.